Hey guys, what is going on? It's Justin from Bonix Entertainment, and welcome to this week's Zero Location video. I know it's been a little while since I've done one. I'm sorry about that. I've been really busy out here at work. Uh, but for this week, Zer is over in the tower, and he is down over in the shipwright area. So if you go to the shipwright area and just keep going downstairs past Dead Orbit, go downstairs to where you can start playing music, then he is over there in the back wall, all the way on the left-hand side. And this week, Zer is selling for his legacy engram, a legacy helmet engram. Uh, this engram is 29 strange coins, and you can only get the helmets from year 1 or 2, remember that. But you can purchase the year 3 versions of those helmets after you have acquired the year 1 or 2 version off the wall in the tower. Zer this week is selling for the Titan class, the Eternal Warrior Helmet. He's selling it for 13 strange coins and what the Eternal Warrior Helmet does is it makes you, whenever you're going into your Fist of Havoc super, basically unstoppable. It will give you the perks to where you will not be able to die at all while in Fist of Havoc. Zer this week is also selling for the Hunter class, the Young Amakara Spine. Now what the Young Amakara Spine does is whenever you are using a golden gun hunter you can throw out two trip mines it gives you two trip mines and both the trip mines have an extended duration so that means they're going to stick on the surfaces for a longer period of time before blowing up by themselves for the warlock class he is selling the ofden aspect gauntlets now what these gauntlets do they have a perk called viper totemic and what it does is it improves your energy drain ability, so whichever one you choose whenever you're a Void Walker Warlock. And it also lets you reload your weapons and ready them extremely quickly. So this is actually a really, really nice gauntlet to have on. Because you're going to be able to shoot and reload as fast as you can. And just be able to mow down people in the Crucible. For Xur's Weapon of the Week this week, he is selling the Hawkmoon Hand Cannon. Now yes it is a hand cannon, but it is the Hawkmoon, which means that once you fully upgrade it, it will have three Luck in the Chamber shots. So that means whenever you are firing it, it will be a two shot if you get the Luck in the Chamber bullet on one of them. Or it will be three shots normally if you kill someone in the Crucible with it. It's a really nice hand cannon to use if you're going to need to just get a little bit lucky in the Crucible. Zer this week is also selling for his two weapon bundles of the week this week, the Monte Carlo and Super Spy ornament, which honestly I love the Monte Carlo, you guys have heard me tell talk about that a lot, but if you use the Monte Carlo and Super Spy the Super Spy just gives it a nice look, but if you're looking to get a Monte Carlo and you don't have it already, you can buy it through this package, and it's 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust. I would like to point out that if you already have the Monte Carlo, and you just want the Super Spy, you can go up to the silver dust terminal that's right by the Postmaster in the tower, and buy it for, I believe, 15 silver dust. So you're going to gain it a little bit cheaper. Zer's second weapon bundle of the week this week is the Halo Supercell and the Not a Toy weapon ornament. Now this one looks all right. Now the Halo Supercell and Not a Toy is actually a really nice combination. The Not a Toy it's just for looks again, but the Halo Supercell matches the Monte Carlo in the Crucible. So if you're having trouble one way or another with someone using the Halo or Monte Carlo, if you use the same thing or the opposite, you have a good chance of being able to take them down. Now the Halo also has the added perk of whenever two or more enemies are next to each other, directly next to each other, this can be in Crucible whenever they're capturing a point, or just normal everyday enemies. Whenever you hit it, whenever you hit one of them, it has a chance of doing lightning damage to the ones directly next to it making it a little bit easier to kill them all. Zer this week is also selling 
the Plasma Drive and Emerald Coil for 23 Strange Coins each. So if you're missing that section in the Book of Triumphs for this year, then you can go ahead and get it and equip it to a Blue Sparrow that you can buy from Vanguard Quartermaster or the Crucible Quartermaster, or even from Amanda Holiday. You can buy one of those, equip this onto it, and it will count as a brand new speeder for you to use. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and comment on what you would like to see Zerzel next week. Again, I'm very sorry I haven't been able to keep up with these while I'm out here. However, this is the last week, so that means I will be back in my studio to do this once this week is over, and I will be getting it out to you every week from then on. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.